Ready? Girls. Can't we just email them? It's a bit late for that. Hold on to your broomsticks, girls. Bullshit, you cocks. Major confuse in this <sighs> corner, sweet. <laughs> the hex on us. <laughs> <laughs> you must think we are the biggest gang of bitch hounds ever. Yes, we do. <sighs> Make a guilt sweat. So it was you. Yeah, but you're gonna find this major in between us. This is India, Romola, and Remy. Charmed. Oh, oh Shante. <laughs> Witches of Camden. Meet the Witches of Kensington. I have a new coven. <laughs> You sure they're new? They look just like the last ones. <sighs> yes, they're new, Jude. The hex, Alexa? So, we were joshing about, honing our casting skills, and we thought we'd try a hex. And I had a snap of you four little scruffs in solstice camp. Didn't even think it would work. I am totes proud of us. <laughs> you knew exactly what you were doing. Our fault for underestimating our power. <laughs> Your fault for being complete fuckplugs. Age, not Lebutin size, please. Pinky shake. Go fuck yourself. What are they up to? Look, ladies, we're sorry. Honestly, darlings, we all are. This whole feud thing's gone totes OTT. We're adults now. This is bloody ridic. Truce, yeah? Why should we trust you? We're offering you an entente cordiale. Stay. Pretty pee. Have a drinky. I don't know. Oh, it'll be jokes. Come on. <laughs> I got sick of it, the traveling thing. Mm. And I missed them lot. So, I thought... Shit, what is it called? You missed the girls? Yes. Mm. Yes, so I thought, enough. I'm gonna stay, put down some roots, get a job, grow up mm. and all that shit. Yeah. I could never get that shine. Oh, you could too. Your hair is amazing. Seriously, okay. basil oil, lemon, and bruising, and it's like, woo, shine first. <laughs> Don't even get me started on timekeeping. I gave the three of them Rolexes for Christmas. Did it make a diff? Did it help? Oh, well, <laughs> that's completely disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Is this what they call tramp walk? They're going home in last house clothes. Yes, but you're meant to smell of sex. No, I don't. I don't smell of sex. No, I smell of Alexa's posh candles. <laughs> oh, she's all right. We used to be quite close when we were kids, me and Alexa. For you lot. She used to tie you up and force you to eat mustard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that bit wasn't so great. We should have stuck with it. Her wardrobe was bigger than my bedroom. Now, what do you think about that? Would you actually want that lifestyle? Yes, absolutely. No, I wouldn't. Living off daddy and talking a load of bullshit all day, no thanks. Well, I work hard for all this. <laughs> OK, so it's not Kensington, but... We all learn our keep, apart from Han. I think I'm getting a sack. Brilliant. No, it's a final warning. I'm taking this to the tribunal. It's completely unfair. Oh, abusive to customers, drinking on the job and repeated unexplained absence. Good luck with that. You know they got a really strong case. Yeah, well, if that prick of a boss treated me with respect, I wouldn't take the piss. This is a fascist regime. Can, can we not do something about this, please? No, I'm late for work already. We can't get the spell book out every time you mess up at work. Why not? Jude, exactly how much phone sex did you have with that Cuban guy last month? He's a bit, why? Because we've got a phone bill here for a grand. He only lives in Tooting. Why not just have proper sex, then? My face like a slap-tart voice like Antonio Banderas. Anyway, do not point the finger at me. Well, I only ever use my work phone. Han hasn't been here and Grace doesn't have any other friends. Sorry, Grace. So it can only... It's me. I called Han a few times while she was away. Oh, a few times. I really missed her. I'll pay her. Is that before or after you pay me back for the last two months' rent? Oh, yeah, I forgot. You don't have a job. We cannot get by on two incomes. Well, I'd still have a job if we did a quick switch. Final demand for electricity. <sighs> spirit wise, spirit great, help us change the hands of fate. Replace a boss who's strict and tense with someone who makes much more sense. Someone who is more like Jude. <laughs> a hedonist <laughs> with a light mood. mood. Spirit gracious, grant this request for a leader unlike all the rest. Get a job then. Oh. oh shit. It's from Joel. He's asking me to go to lunch with him today. Let's see. What do I do? Oh, it's ringing. I did just call, um, but there was an emergency and I had to put the phone down. No, I'm okay. I just, uh, I caught my... tit... in, a uh, God. Vice? Book. I caught my tit in a book. <laughs> anyway, how are you? I'd, I'd love that. Lunch. One o'clock. OK. <laughs> Great. All right. Bye. <laughs> Jeremy Clarkson would be better than that muffin top prick. Please, let it be somebody under 40. And if it's a bloke fit. <coughs> Excuse me. And halitosis for Excuse me. French would be good. Sorry, can I just... Oh, for fuck's sake, what? Jerry Blackwell. Your new boss. You are silver tongued, you are...
into it. I'll see you at 12 o'clock. I've got an interview. It's only a temp thing, but I reckon it'll be a brilliant temper. What the hell is that? Was my fringe. Oh. Um, it'll grow back. In two hours? This is horrendous! Shit! Shit! What if it's Joel? You're meeting him in town in two hours. Grace, I've got a bit of a work emergency and I know it's short notice, but is there any chance you could watch the boys this afternoon? Oh, um, okay. Well, Thank you! <laughs> you are an absolute lifesaver and I'll be back here before seven. Boys, get in here now! Boys! <laughs> Be good for Grace. Bye. It's fridge. It's fridge. It's fridge. It's fridge. It's fridge. It's fridge. Shut it, you it's little fridge. bastards. Who are they anyway? Dave's a neighbour. His wife died a while back, so I've been helping out. And you know, well, it is an emergency. What about your day? Well, I can't go looking like this anyway. Ow! <laughs> I'm gonna end up a sad, lonely old witch living on my own, maybe sitting next door's kids. I can have the kids. What about your interview? There'll be others. <laughs> They're a handful. I've travelled through Outer Mongolia on my own. I can handle two kids. Ow! First things first, we need to sort that hair out. He might be narcoleptic. It's being lazy, got to do with shagging dead people. Oh, hello. Have you got any skins? It might be a test. Mm. Yeah, right. Got some. Um, Jerry, where were you last? Over there. Like, Work-wise. What store were you at? Oh, right. Uh, Finchley. I was only an assistant. I can't believe when I got the call this morning. Manager. Oh, never managed anything in my life. Sorry, do you want a blast? Oh, no. We're OK for now. Cheers. OMG, dream boss come true. Jerry, could me and you take a long lunch today? <laughs> Go for it. Lounge lover Bellini's here we come! Yes. <laughs> I'll have to take a rain check. Sure. Oh, it's an emergency, I'm sorry. Hi. Again. I was just wondering. Would I be able to have that blast now? What I bought? Yes, get you. Oh. Why can't you just go to the hairdressers like a normal person? Oh, we cannot oh, cast oh, with this that. noise going on. Me and Joel in less than an hour. And I have got 35 minutes left in my lunch break. Stop fighting with the remote! What about this? Perfect. This should do it. Come on, Hannah, move, yeah, little kids. Yeah. Amazing. Spirit wise, spirit fair, help our friend heal her hair. Please don't judge or think it vain. Just help her put it right again. interested in our position of office manager. Yes. Yes, I am. So, Hannah, what skills can you bring to this role? Well, I, um... Um... I can, um... I'm very resourceful, good in a crisis. 
always thinking outside the box. I thrive on new challenges and from the satisfaction of performing well, either as part of a team or by myself. You look fantastic. Thank you for coming. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> Legs better. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it took me ages to work up the courage to call you this morning. Really? Oh, uh, yeah. I was so nervous. Me too. I must have sounded like a total weirdo. <laughs> no, no. Not at all. We're here now, anyway. That's the important thing. Jacker's attention, untie the bus driver and call the Colombian police. <laughs> yeah, I think that was definitely the trickiest situation I've had to resolve. <laughs> Gosh, well, I mean, that's really impressive, to say the least. Thank you for coming in, Hannah. It's been a real uh, pleasure to meet you. Yes, thank you. Uh, just one final question, and this is always a tricky one. How would you describe your weaknesses? Oh, well, that's piss easy. I'm a kleptomaniac. If it's not now down, I'll fucking have it. <gasps> Jack. Obviously, sense of humor, big tick. Thank you, we'll, uh, we'll be in touch. You better I'd be, you big bastard shit! <sighs> I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I open. Oh, Stel, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's okay, I know. It's Alexa. Oh, last night I told her I wanted to settle down and get a job. And now she's hexed her career. At least it's just me this time. What am I gonna do? Right, well, first of all, I need to sort this mess out. And what am I gonna do? Just go home, I'll we'll see you there. But don't worry, we'll sort it out. I'm not entirely sure how, but we will. Do you want to start up? Well, that overboard. <laughs> Sorry, can I just... Oh. <laughs> Don't like making a mess. memento from our first date. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me a bit more about yourself. Um, I come from a big family, four brothers and sisters, two fantastic parents, uh, all incredibly close. Oh, sounds lovely. It was. I came home from school one day and um, they'd all gone, just like that. Faulty gas oven and some dodgy electrics. Entire family. Things were tough for a while, but they picked up again when I met my ex, Sarah. Then she got pregnant. Oh, boy, with <laughs> boy. But he's not mine. She ran off with my best friend. Oh, hey, hey. I'm fine now, though. How? I've met you, haven't I?
on. This sexy man is the best boss ever. <laughs> That's what's going on. There's a huge queue out there. I did put a sign in the door, so... Yeah. Reckon he probably missed that. Oh, sorry, Miss Poppins. <laughs> I think they're getting pissed off. Well, it'll be a few more minutes. Why don't you make a start? Because I've only got one pair of hands. Stop being so anal. What? I'm about the least... If you can close, sweet cheeks. Not saving lives. I know. All I'm saying is if head office come down here... Head office. Whatever. <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry if I'm stressing you out. You're not. It's just I think you shouldn't take things so... Seriously. <laughs> I spend my whole life not taking things seriously. Just because you're smoking weed in the stockroom doesn't make you some big fucking radical. In fact, I could have you for breakfast. Oh, what? Folding shirts? <laughs> Overproof rum? Last one standing wins. Shut the shop, dick spin. Oh, this is the best day of my life. It's not saying much, though, is it? Um, <sighs> Look, Joel. I like you, Grace. I like you so much. I like you too. I can't tell you how many times I thought about ending it before I met you. So I just want to say thank you for saving my life. You are coming. Never said we'd be friends, trying to keep myself alive. I can't buy my keys. I have a spare one, so I want them back, though. Why don't you tell me you have spares? Because you'll lose those as well. I have to go. Sam, don't bite that. Where are you going? I need to get something of Alexis to lift this hex. The book says it needs to be of intimate value. I used to have a necklace her dad gave her, but I lost that. A lock of her, her first pony. You lost a pony? She gave it to me and it... Well, it sort of drowned. It doesn't matter. The point is, this time I'm going to get something and keep it. Oh! How did the date go? Um, yeah. Yeah, he's really keen. See? <laughs> oh, you don't have any ideas of how we can get something precious of Alexis? <laughs> how did you get in there? Snuck in when you weren't looking. This is a terrible idea. Shh. We're corrupting them. That happened years ago. Hello. Bubble job. Bubble what? I'm a scout. I'm raising money. Doing odd jobs. Like what? All sorts. You saying? Lawn mowing, pond cleaning, massaging, anything really. Hairdressing. You could do one. I do great fringes. I don't need a haircut off a boy scout. I'm cheap. He's got one of our handbags. Oh, Good taste, Sam. Where are your parents? Dead. OK, I'll take that as a no. Oh, wait, I have a red wine stain on my rug. Don't do stains. Oh, rugs. Sorry. Bye. You thieving bastard! Oh, shit. I'm a manager anyway. Fuck knows. I'll tell you a secret though. My heart's not in it. <laughs> Never guess. Minute band, guitars, etc. I'm a fashion designer. A very sexy one. I really need to clean up down here. Come on. We're going. <clears throat> And you are Hannah, is that right? Yes, yes, I'm the babysitter. I want all three of them arrested. 
one thing at a time, please. She's obviously put them up to this, haven't you? This has been one big misunderstanding. This has been devastating. I feel violated. Violated by a child. Oh. Aya! <laughs> Look who it is! Oh. What the fuck's going on here, then? Have you been drinking, madam? Have you been a prick all your life? <laughs> <laughs> right. In the van, all of you. Now! Wicked. What? All of you, in the van. Now, get in there. In. Is <laughs> that here? Come on. with you? Yeah, but it's not much use without something to cast in, is it? Quick switch, anyone? Oh, what is it now? Could you take us home, please? No sweat. Hot stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know why everything you touch turn... turns to shit. You are so irresponsible. Those are Dave's kids. He is a widower. Don't shout at me. I was trying to help your love life. OK, let's just be glad that we're all there and we could do something about it. You're older than me, but you're like a big kid. Stella's right. We can't ask you to do anything. Toby, where's Sam? Oh, what? Sam? 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 Toby, when was the last time you saw him? He was playing with the lightsaber. The front door's open. What's going on? Live rewind. It's brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> you are not allowed off this sofa until your father comes. You know not to run out in traffic. And your mother got knocked over by a car. Have you not learned any lessons? Perhaps Grace and I should deal with this. Fine. What happened? <sighs> you were very, very lucky. We all were. What were you doing out there, anyway? I was just playing with the lightsaber. What lightsaber? Where did you get this? The rich lady's house. Spirit, take these personal effects. Cast the curse, lift the hex. Hannah's career, it shall not rob. Give back the chance to gain a job. Protect her from those by whom harm to be made. Let's go forth and earn some rent.
bitches. Oh, I am so sorry. I will pay for any damage. Oh. Which one of them was it? It was Toby. It wasn't me, it was magic. What have I told you about lying? They've been a nightmare. It's OK, you can say. Tan's been looking after them. They've been great. Hannah can do magic. They all can. <laughs> and look, I got a lightsaber. Oh, oh that's, uh, yeah, that's mine. And Hannah's got a remote control that can make us quiet and we were in time and we went in a police van. It had lights on and everything. And I lied to a rich girl in a castle. And I stole her handbag. OK, I, I may need to borrow that remote at some <laughs> point in the future. Thank you, Hannah. I've not seen them like this before. They're great kids. Tough day. I had a date. Yeah? But it was... I know. Make a lot of effort, get all excited, but it's just... not there. And I feel really guilty, cos... he's had an awful life. And... this isn't me being big-headed, but... I, th I think he might quite like me. First of all, his happiness isn't your responsibility. Secondly, of course he likes you. You're beautiful. You'll find a girl. Everyone's special to someone. I hope so. Of course. He's got to find the right one. Can I ask you a question? Does this need salt? I've got bad news and just news. Yeah? Head office have been on. They found out that you're closing early. Sacked. Yeah, it lasted a whole day. Pretty impressed with myself. What's the just news? Meet the new manager. Oh, good for you. Oh, congratulations. That's amazing. Celebration dinner ready in about ten minutes. Oh, time for a quick tour around the flat then. Grace can watch the pan. I can watch the pan. Yes, absolutely. Now, I shouldn't rely on Grace as much as I do. I think she puts herself out for me quite a bit. Oh, well, that's Grace. You're natural, though. No, I'm not. You are. Oh, it's fine. It's only fair. You've done a fantastic job. It's fine, really. Listen, the boys have been blacklisted by every nanny agency. You deserve paying. Hannah? Could you just move back a bit? I've had a few problems with earning money recently. <laughs> <laughs> Everything okay? <gasps> yes. Everything's great. So I've just I've just sort of earned this. You have. And you have a future husband in Sam if it doesn't work out with people your own age. And if you want to earn any more, then I'm always looking for people to do the school pickups and all the boring stuff. You mean like a job? No, not really. Well, it's like a job. Come on, boys. It's time to go and mess up our nice clean flat. Bye. Say goodbye to Hannah. See you. I think we lifted the career hex. I know we did. Dave just paid me. I got paid for something. <laughs> here. How mad is that? This is where I come to with my hood. It's my stomping You were ground. watching my flat. I've blown it, haven't I? I knew I would. Why, oh why? Just for once. Can't something go right for me? One little bit of luck, that's all I'm asking for. It's nothing to do with luck. Take some responsibility. Please don't cry. Um, I, 
I do try, you know. I try really, really hard. Maybe that's the problem. You can't force things. They either happen or they won't. Will we happen? I don't think so. I'm sorry. <sighs> Find a girlfriend when you're ready. Nobody will have me. It's not true. Everyone's special to someone. Joel. Yeah? Let go now, please. Hello, Jerry. You smell nice. I love women's bathrooms. I don't know what half that stuff's for, but I just whacked it on and rubbed it in anyway. Yeah, feel that. Like a baby's ass. <laughs> it's lovely. Sorry, do you want to get in there? No, no, no. I was just passing. Um, en route to the living room. <laughs> Come. <laughs> Don't fight your feelings. Fight your sweat. What? Oh, I don't think she'll like that. Women don't sweat, apparently. Don't we? No, we perspire. Try telling that to someone with hyperhidrosis. So what the hell are you talking about? Excessive sweating. New campaign. I've got to make industrial strength deodorant sexy by tomorrow. Why Janet has given this to me, I don't know. Oh, God, do I smell? No. Why me, then? Because if anyone can make B.O. cool, you can. That was meant to come out differently. Mm. Oh, no, stop it. You don't smell. You're sexy. That's why she's given it to you. Oh, I don't feel very sexy. Well, you are. When was the last time I went on a date? That lovely woman from Battersea Dog's Home. Her clothes were covered in hair and she had half-eaten chew sticks in her pocket. And that was 2009. What? You picky. It's a good thing. Got high standards. Can't force these things. You know, someone will come along when you least expect it. It's all about the chemistry. That's it. Exactly. Why well, can't I load a meaning this day? It's just for the sake no, of No, 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 the tagline. It's all about the chemistry. Perfect! <laughs> Right, great. Layers. It's all about the chemistry. I love that. Bills. Why is it just when we get our coven back together, Alexa gets a new coven? To do with the natural balance of things. Alexa got a coven together because we're back together. Yeah. Well, I don't feel sure about them. Why not? Because they're not proper mates. They're proper witches. I don't get it. Well, it's like sex, isn't it? It's better with someone you love. Magic is not like sex, Judith. It is, and we're better at it than they are. We are. If they try anything again, We'll have them because we're better in the magical set than them. <laughs> I'm not going to agree with you until you find a more polite metaphor. Thank you very much. Oh, come and have sex with us. Stop listening. <laughs> come on, Grace. At least come and have a drink with us. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Excuse me. I know. What do you have to do to get a drink round here? Stella, that fit woman was totally giving you the eye. <laughs> what was that? Oh. <laughs> oh, coming over. Where are you going? Don't stare. You make me feel awkward. Dude. What? Oh, they're not making pandas. I can look if I want. Can you lip read? What do they say? Hair. Uh, um. Mm. Ch. 
Yeah. Harry Pork Chair. Is that a lesbian thing? Yeah, it must be, unless you can't actually lip read. Oh, phones are out. Digits? She's called Ariel. Of course she is. What'd she say? She said she thinks I'm really attractive, don't want to go for a drink, blah, blah, blah. She makes Megan Fox look like Anne Whittacombe and you're blaring. It's not all about looks. Did you get on, so? Yeah. Yeah, we got on. She seems really great. But? Oh, I don't know what's wrong with me. I think I've got a condition. This keeps happening to me. You keep getting propositioned by supermodels. Oh, Stel, you poor bastard. No, I mean, I can't seem to connect. Romantically, it's like I go through the motion, but I just can't find that spark. It's like something inside me just being switched off. Oh, I need another drink. So fun. No, oh, that's just still, isn't it? She's um fussy. It's been five years since Stella had a relationship. Coincidence? No. I need to get in touch with Lucy. No. no. I'd rather see our friends single forever than deal with this. <laughs> yes. Mm, come on, Jude, she's right. You may be happy for Stella to die alone, surrounded by cats, but we're not. We need to lift the switch, and if that means getting Lucy to come over, then so be it. I'll text her to come over tomorrow. Last orders, I thought I'd double up. Cheers. Thank you.